What's up, folks? It's me, Justin, your favorite diabetic internet personality, here with the very coveted footage of Gateway Cup 2019, uh, the last pro road tour crit series that I'm racing this year. There is Doylestown this coming weekend, but I'm not going to be able to make it out there, unfortunately. So, this was the last one. Um, two things. One, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. I want to make money off of making videos like this at some point in the near future, so do it. Please. Pretty please. Um, I can't remember what the second thing was, but uh, anyway, here's Gateway, and this is me commenting on my race. Um, here we go, night one. It was... Like, dude, I don't even know why we raced. There was lightning um, the entire race long. You'll probably be able to see it um, a couple points during these clips. Um, it was raining extremely hard. And, yeah, it definitely seemed dangerous to me. Um, I mean, the rain, not so much, but I've, I've never raced bikes in lightning and thunder before. It seemed like a f hurricane for the most part. But, uh, yeah, we did. Um, a lot of people didn't start. It was surprisingly safe. Um, everyone gave everyone else a bunch of room. And I didn't see any crashes all night long. And that doesn't say there wasn't any. Not saying there wasn't any, but I didn't see any. Um, yeah, there was. At one point, I there was a little bit of a move. I kind of thought it was going to break up. This was probably my best way to get a result on this race because this course is usually super fast and super sketchy um, because everyone that starts will be able to finish it and having the rain as a deciding factor was really good for me. There was one point where I followed move like right here um, and it went nowhere. It, it came right back. Um, and I think the move that countered us was the winning break. Go figure. Um, there was, I think there were four guys up the road, but we may have caught one or two of them in the last couple laps. Um, I did kind of a terrible job in the sprint. Um, three laps to go, kind of moving up. Two laps to go, kind of moving up. Um, but, it, I mean, it kind of all stayed together, and there were only like 40 people, 30 people left in the field. Um, so it was not that difficult to get where you wanted to be um last lap parker came right up on the inside of me out of the second turn and i'm like going to jump on his wheel and get chopped and i was already scared out of my mind and had a bunch of sand in my eyes so kind of called it a day at that point and rolled in at whopping 29th Fun, I know. I know. Alright, day two. This is Francis Park. Pretty sure this is Francis Park. Another really fast four corner, ninety-nine point nine percent of the time gonna be a field sprint. So my plan for the first ninety percent of the race was to not do anything. This field had potential for a breakaway to roll just because, I mean, ButcherBox was the largest team there and they weren't quite strong enough to really, like, just single file string it out the entire time. So there was potential if, like, a move of a couple guys got up the road and at one point, I think it's about halfway through, I bridged to this chase group that was bridging to the breakaway group so there would have been like 20 guys up the road and everyone sat up so i went right over the top and sat on mr i don't know who this homie's wheel is realized this was going to go nowhere everyone comes around us literally like 10 meters later so i checked that out 
um, and re redeem my no reserve myself to try and salvage something in the field. Brandon was definitely still feeling some effort from yesterday. Oh damn! Cockroach just fell out of the ceiling next to me. Um, I was definitely still feeling the the rainy crit in my legs. I, that was a that was a hard that was the hardest first day I've ever had at Gateway. So I was trying to conserve as much as I could, um, and then never really got in a got to the position I needed to be in the sprint. Um, moved up a little bit, um, but just didn't get didn't get to the position I needed to be in, um, and then was relieved to see this f***ing idiot deck his bike, li like, before the f***ing turn, too. Uh, he was, those Dominicans have not been riding very safely or with much regard for anyone around him for basically the entire time I've raced him this year. So it was kind of good to see a little bit of karma come back and bite him in the ass. And yeah, RIP to the butcher box guy who was held down by the bike being tangled in his. And yeah, saved my skin and my legs for the next two days. I'm not too displeased with that. All right, day three, the hill, Giro della Montagna, Mon Montoya, Mon something. Um, day three, it's four corners still, but has significantly more elevation than the other two days. It's not hard, but it is actually a hill and suits a breakaway much more so than the two previous days. And I was very, very motivated to make it into one if there was one. So I moved up, made sure to follow something. At this point, there's a little group right in front of uh, David. So I follow him. And then as soon as he sits up, I sprint right around him and right around this little group that's trying to bridge. And as you can see, Everyone kind of sits up, but then I go right over the top of them because I'm a badass, but it leads nowhere. I get caught two turns later, and everyone comes around me. I knew the race was getting harder. At just not too much longer, 10, 15 minutes later, I see Noah moving up the left side. He's moving pretty quick, so I'm like right on his wheel, and then he starts sprinting. I'm like, oh man, he's going for it, because there's a little group up the road at this point. I'm not good about making the first split all the time. I'm, I'm a little bit more more keen to bridge to something that just just left. But uh, I follow Noah. He's going real hard. I'm trying to sit on his wheel. I'm doing a terrible job, but he um, flicks me through. I roll through, and I look back after I do this massive 10-second pull, and there's actually a pretty sizable gap between us, um, this little four-person bridge group, and the the peloton. So we keep rolling it and make it up to this uh, breakaway. So there's now like 15 guys in in it total. Um, all the teams, Gateway, me, the biggest team there, Justin. Um, I mean, there's guys from everyone and. No one wants to roll. I don't understand it, but uh, that's bike racing. Um, yeah, so it comes back together, and then we get countered, and again, winning break. Classic, classic, classic Justin move right there. But uh, yeah, um, breakaway goes, um, get ready for the field sprint. We actually have a reasonably decent shot at doing well. We have myself, Parker Kaiser, and Grayson Kepler all riding in the same kit this weekend. And the three of us have been riding pretty well on day three here. Um, all at the front, all riding together. So we're actually looking to do pretty well um, since both Parker and Grayson can sprint. And I'm supposed to do something for them, which I never really end up doing, unfortunately. Um, coming through, one to go. Parker, Grayson, me, 
and Parker rolls it right to the front. Like, I was coming up on Grayson, and I was going to roll by and, like, tell them to hop on my wheel, but Parker beat me to it, and he fucking unloads it, man. He does a good move, like, rolls inside, classic UHC move, um, goes inside, outside, was barely hanging on to, to that last, to Grayson's wheel, so I kind of got um, fucked with all the, uh, all the other guys around us, but the two of them roll it real well, and um, Parker pops off actually at the bottom of the hill and puts Grayson in a real good spot. And I'm there kind of in the middle of the bunch. I see a little opening right through the middle, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to try and do this and salvage something, maybe maybe snag a top 20, um, get a little bit of money. And second to last turn, my favorite rider in the field, one of the lovely Dominican riders, fucking eats it. Like, doesn't even know how to ride his bike. Um, piles it up. And I run right into the back of my friend, Fabio. And uh, there goes my race again. But such is life. Thankfully, I wasn't hurt. My bike wasn't broken. A couple spokes came loose. And that's what you can hear in the, hear in the video. But I'm all good. And just angry for, for day four. All right, last day of racing, day four, Benton Park. This is probably one of my favorite bicycle races in the United States. It is, it's a really fun course, it's technical, it's hard. It's after three days of pretty pretty legit racing, so everyone's kind of like, mm, a little. everyone's a little fatigued and just a little cracked, but man, it's fun. Um, I had the chance to do really well my first year doing this when Thomas Brown led me out on the last lap but then I crashed with two turns to go and have been bitter ever since and need redemption and yeah so I came into this race very eager to ride as hard as I could and do as well as I could but um since it is so technical, it does kind of lead uh, to breakaways or small groups um, and definitely a reduced bunch finishing, and that's that's really good for me. So I didn't, this course, since this course is so technical, there usually are some crashes. I think I only saw one, uh, one guy that splayed out. I have, I did hear quite a few, but everything I heard was behind me. I tried to stay as far to the front as I could um, so that I could respond to moves as they came which are inevitable like right here um, most of the moves that were going were pretty decent sized bunches um, at least for the first part of the race nothing nothing small got away and was that was dangerous um, there were a lot of people trying but there were also a lot of people just riding hard and bringing everything back so yay for me um, Closer to the end of the race, there there started to be more select groups that were that were attacking. I bridged to a couple of them. Boom! Smashed by Marcotte. Um, and just, I mean, yeah, I was riding real well today. I oh, I'm so frustrated. I didn't. I got ahead of myself. But um, yeah. So here we go. This is about. This is, so we just saw three to go, so this is like two and a half laps left to go. There's this small bridge group um, right in front of us. Um, I believe Stefan and one of the Project Echelon guys attacked off the front of this bunch. Um, and I saw them, um, but Jake McGee and myself bridging up to it. Um, as we get to it, everyone kind of sits up and I roll right over the top. My classic move and um, yeah not really uh, a smart thing to do apparently I end up spending three quarters of a lap out on my own just a, like 50 meters behind Stefan and the echelon guy um, but get caught with what is it like before we see one to go so one and a half to go um, I try and slot in, I kind of do, but man, after you're like, this is the second to last lap of a PRT crit, 
um, I went as hard as I could because I was racing to win this match. I was not racing for a result, and I probably should have because I definitely do not have any PRT results to my name yet, but I, I was eager to do really well, not just well, but really well, and came up short. But, uh, yep, left with all my skin this time, which is not true for a lot of the gateways. Yeah.